Osnet services. At Osnet, we transmit and distribute electricity and also gas. So with our 110 field workers, we inspect about 300,000 spans of vegetation on our network every year. We inspect and dig and drill 85,000 distribution poles, and then we'll inspect or change meter reads every year as well. Our workers are facing a variety of hazards at any given point of their workday. 85% of our injuries to our people are associated with things like customer aggression, aggressive animals, environmental conditions, and being a lone worker, you, you never really know what's around the corner. The idea came up to say, well, how can we discreetly warn our employees of an impending issue or a risk to make sure that we keep them safe and they keep themselves safe as well? We thought a wearable technology and an app that we could build would actually go mobile with those teams and give them really timely, accurate information. So some of the features of the AIM Zero application are what we call proximity alerts to notify field users on the Apple Watch itself when they're in the field alone and come into proximity of any hazards or environments risks that are known to the network. Some of the other features we have, we incorporate the, the Apple fall detection and SOS. So really providing the field users that safety net of working alone where they can call for help if needed, or if they do have a slip trip or fall, that we have a process in the background where the Apple Watch can notify emergency services. We've consulted extensively with our team just to make sure that they're really comfortable with the technology. So we worked with the field teams from the first day. We had great collaboration from the team um, and we were able to turn around a product really quickly that really, really helps people in the field. Feedback from the teams has been really fantastic and the main thing is our people have got a really great tool that keeps them safe. We work solo probably a good 90% of the time. With the app, if something happens, you've got essentially a phone on your wrist and if you have a fall, like the fall warning and stuff like that, I think it's brilliant. We have seen a 35% reduction in our recordable injury frequency rate and we've also seen a 9% increase in our employee engagement score over the last six months. So to me, people are feeling seen and heard and we're providing solutions that they feel that they've contributed to. It allows us to sleep a bit better at night, knowing that people have the information in the right hands at the right time at the right place. And this is just a, a real good demonstration for us that we can empower people to look after their own safety, but give them the tools that allow them to do that. Equipment Safety Systems. Equipment Safety Systems is a market leader within Australia in the area of producing, designing, developing safety systems for all types of machineries. We've been working on the scissor lift problem for probably the last five years. There have been quite a few deaths over the last 10 years and a, a number of major accidents where people have been crushed and badly injured. It really represented a need for a, a secondary guarding system on a scissor lift. Many people have tried to develop a secondary guarding system. However, with the advancements in technology, specifically with uh, LiDAR technology, we're able to come up with a very unique concept. The Overwatch was developed after years worth of research and development. It was a light bulb moment where we said, let's not look at everything around the operator, but let's look at the operator himself. Overwatch is essentially a combination of a radar and a laser. It's called a LiDAR. What it does is there's a little sensor unit that sits by the control box in the scissor lift. It sends a beam out to the operator's chest. It calibrates the distance between the sensor and the operator. It will allow him to have relatively gentle movements to enable him to operate the machinery. However, if he makes a sudden movement, whether he's hit from above or hit from the side, the system picks that up and cuts out immediately avoiding a crushing incident. It's a universal solution for the industry that can be fitted to any manufacturer's scissor lift. It's extremely important to consult with all parties, uh, those being the OEMs, the manufacturers of the machines, hire and rental companies, and finally the builders themselves, the major construction companies, which assists us enormously when we're developing new products. The Overwatch has been mandated for use on major tier one building sites within Australia. To date, we've supplied approximately 8,000 units into the Australian market, which represents 12 to 15% of all machines within Australia. This has been a tremendous take up in the technology. We're a relatively small company, big reach, and we're aggressively now pursuing overseas markets. This has changed the culture of the work site, and it's changed the way that the operators now do their jobs.
Western Health. The intensive care units at Sunshine Hospital and Footscray Hospital at Western Health are both open plan. There's no individual negative pressure rooms or single bed area rooms and healthcare workers were at huge risk of being exposed to COVID-19 virus in the air. So under the direction of Associate Professor Forbes McGain and in combination with some engineers from Melbourne University, we developed a ventilation hood. The problem with COVID-19 is not really a problem of lack of ventilators, for example, it's a lack of nurses. And if nurses feel unsafe about coming to work, they won't. And then the whole healthcare system tends to fall apart. So very early on, I realised that was going to be the issue. I was actually running around the park with my daughter long ago with a pram and thinking about how we could have a pram type device that would protect the patient and protect the nursing staff as well. This has been a story of collaboration, working with the University of Melbourne mechanical engineering team, Western Health's intensive care unit and CSIRO aerosol scientists. We got a phone call from Forbes McGain from Western Health saying we really need some help with the hospitals and we had no experience in working with med tech or hospitals or infectious diseases certainly uh, but we did know a lot about fluid mechanics which is the movement of air. We knew that we didn't have to fully isolate the patient from the rest of the ward we believed we could do it by just sucking air past the patient through this fan. It is then pushed through a HEPA filter, which essentially takes out all the infectious disease particles from the air. So we came up with a prototype and we took that straight into the hospital. And as soon as we met up with all the nurses, they all came around and gave us all this just incredible feedback. We gave suggestions, we tweaked a few things, sent it back, they brought the next prototype back for us to re-review. There were many iterations of that prototype, up to probably about six or seven, and now it's a standard use in many hospitals, particularly in Sydney and Melbourne. We've had interest from overseas. I see this being also used very much so in the treatment of TB and other airborne spreads. The benefits are um, immeasurable, and I can tell you I've been approached by a number of nurses to say how pivotal having the hood in their environment has been at making them feel much safer from droplet and aerosol exposure. The collaboration to work with those teams was absolutely amazing. I can't thank them enough. It's been an incredible privilege to be involved in this project. It's a really concrete example of people working together uh, to try and make it better for healthcare workers and, and other patients as well. Wyndham City Council. The animal team at Wyndham City Council comprises of five rangers who are actually bringing the animals in. In the pound itself, there are four staff in there and then myself and the team leader. So there's about 12 of us in total. Working with animals in general can be pretty unpredictable. So with the pound relocation project, we are able to increase the safety for the officers and for the animals involved as well. We identified a location, which was an old veterinary hospital. We were allocated a builder, so we had a blank canvas really. As management, it's about us listening and being a part of the solution and taking our staff on the journey to understand their voice is important. We certainly had the opportunity to put forward what we would like. We're the ones actually on the front line doing the work, using the facilities and know how they best function. The main hazard in relation to the old pound, apart from the age of it, was the manual handling of the dogs, especially the more aggressive dogs. The rangers would have to park their vehicles at the front of the pound and then have the dog on a dog pole and then walk through the side of the pound. And the longer that you have a dog on a pole, the more dangerous it does become. So where we are now, the staff can drive into an enclosed loading bay and they're literally coming from the back of their van five metres and then straight into a cage. So it's a does make it much better. With the new dangerous dog cage, we have a roller door that comes down in the middle. We can manoeuvre the dog over to one side and put this roller door down. That enables staff to go in there and mop and clean and feed and do what they need to do safely. We designed our reception area based on the staff safety. The front desk there is based on one of our local police stations so that people can't sort of reach over and grab the staff and then that sort of flowed right through to some of the cage designs for the cats. You know, have we eliminated any of the manual handling? Have we eliminated the stretching up and stretching down? All these things were all looked at with every cage and every addition or every change that we added into the facility. The new facility's feeling is just a lot more positive and happy and light and it's just a more comfortable, relaxed feeling in this place. I'm very proud of the team and it just puts oh and on the map, 
within our organisation and within our industry. We have a fantastic facility here. It just keeps everybody safe. It keeps everybody in a good mental health space.